it's physics, math, and engineering. Machine it, draft it, build it, test it, break it. Every time something new gets built, the entire world advances. Laying in bed at night, it's designing new parts, designing new suspension, designing new wings. <laughs> okay, I'm really excited because today I'm gonna make two little announcements. One, we're gonna tell you all about the winners of the five RC airplanes and what we accomplished for the letters to the FAA about our opinions about putting remote IDs on RC aircraft or drones. Also, I'm sorry, I've been a couple weeks getting out a video on Scrappy. I have been going crazy on Scrappy every night after work. I'm, I'm mostly battle wound healed up, still a few band-aids left. I have an update right after this on Scrappy, so we'll dive right into that. But I'm gonna try something different. I usually do these longer 30 minute, hour long videos plus, it gets so long to edit, I'm gonna try something different. I wanna know your opinion. I think I'm gonna just do this really quick little update on Scrappy, it's short, it's just a few minutes. I think maybe it'd be better if I just did a lot of 10 and 15 minute videos and put them out a lot more often. I think I could get more content to you that way. Trying to edit an hour long video, it's just, it just takes forever and then I push it off and I push it off. Um, and I wanna get them out to you. So tell me what you think, uh, would you rather see 10, 15 minute videos or one one hour video. Um, I kind of leaning towards a bunch of little short videos more often. So the winners of the RC uh, aircraft, I decided we'd pick five random winners to receive a brand new RC aircraft from Horizon Hobby and uh, for writing letters to the FAA. So wouldn't it be cool if people actually decided to give it a shot and write letters to the FAA? and we could pick some winners out and get our voice heard. I thought it would be really cool if we could get this many letters to the FAA about our opinions. You guys crushed it because it'd be really awesome if it was that many letters to the FAA that were amazing opinions. Before I tell you the winners, let me tell you something I couldn't be more proud of, of all of you. I, I got to admit, I have my own opinions about these regulations, and so many great ideas came out of these letters. I'm, I'm blown away, different things about noise in neighborhoods, um, different ways to make it safer, ways to deregulate or have no regulations on, on kids' toys and RC planes and be able to go fly the way you want and not put too high a burden of cost on RC. So many great ideas, I love them. I actually took my own opinion and I kind of formed a bunch more around other ideas I hadn't thought of. And so I am convinced that all these letters that went to the FAA, if they can sit down and even read a fraction of the number that I read, you guys will make a huge difference. But here's what's really mind blowing, guys. I didn't print them all. I'm gonna show you what represents the actual number of pages that went to the FAA is not this. It's that. That is how many pages it would take to print these letters that go on and on and on to the FAA. It literally would take all of that to do it. So I saved the ink, I saved the paper. <laughs> you guys are so cool. I mean, my gosh, if our voice wasn't heard, I, I don't know what is, because this should be read. And I am 100% convinced that there are some brilliant ideas to protect full-size aircraft, homes on the ground, noise rules, and the five and 10-year-old kid who wants to go out with their dad and play with an RC plane in a park and not regulate them to death or make them afraid to do it because of how much regulations or out cost the aircraft so they can't afford to do it. And just, there's so many brilliant ideas that came from you guys. I'm, I'm blown away. I'm absolutely blown away. So I'm sure we inundated um, the great staff at, uh, at our FAA that's working hard to make aviation safer for all of us. And uh, I kind of apologize <laughs> 
to the FAA for giving them this workload. But I really don't because I've met so many of the people at the FAA and they're awesome and they're great people. And I'm convinced that they're going to sit down and they might have to divide up a few hundred letters to each one of them. But if they just dedicate a little bit of time and read through them, I am convinced that we will find a clear, concise, simple path to make aviation safer and keep RC hobbyists flying amazing, fun, and unrestricted in a safe way. So thank you guys. So let's dive into it. <laughs> I want to like cheer and like have all you guys jump up and down with me. Ah, mind blown emoji. Um, all right, so here we go, guys. The random winners, I'm gonna say the names. I'm gonna pre-warn you. Some of these names are, might be generic, some definitely aren't. Um, if I say your name, just remember, there might be 10 of you that, that with this many people entered, there might be several of you with the exact same name. Um, so I'm gonna read these names and you're gonna get notified and we're gonna mail you for helping all of us do something great for aviation. We're gonna mail you a new RC airplane. So here we go. Jay Ennis is gonna get an RC airplane. Furman Gonzalez is gonna get an RC aircraft. Guys, uh, um, guys are so cool. Uh, Keith Carlton, congratulations. You're gonna get a free RC aircraft from me and uh, Horizon Hobby. Thank you, Keith. By the way, great read. Oh my gosh, amazing. What a stud. I, I read this one and I just, I love it. This is a very articulate 13 year old. Way to go, Trevor Hall. 13 year old Trevor Hall. There's probably not many 13 year old Trevor Halls that write a big letter to the FAA and uh, send it in. So Trevor Hall, I'm proud of you. That is so, so cool. So Trevor Hall, you're gonna get notified shortly. We have Dennis Kirkwood. He's gonna get a free air airplane. Five letters from five amazing people representing a pile of amazing ideas. So thanks you guys. I'm gonna be giving away more cool stuff. Um, watch for upcoming videos. I'm sorry this next scrappy video is gonna be short, just a few things. I have a bunch more really cool stuff going and I got some stuff that I can't wait to show you. It won't be on this one. Um, I'm pumped. <laughs> so come back. If you don't follow me, or you haven't subscribed, hey, try it. I've never asked people to do that. I'm gonna officially do it. Like, subscribe. I don't even know what it meant when someone said ring the bell because I just built airplanes and now I guess I do YouTube stuff. So maybe ring the bell, come back, follow my crazy builds. We're gonna be doing some awesome, awesome things. And uh, let's get right to the video, back to work. All right, I'm playing arts and crafts today using graph paper. I've got an input this exact arc and this slight taper on the sides all into the computer. I already pre-laid out all the panels before I made this panel. I pre-laid out all the Garmin components before I made this panel. So I know everything fits, but now I need to get this input into a computer so that I can lay it out, laser cut some material, and fit all the switches and labeling and everything else. So, arts and crafts day. <laughs> I've been taping together sheets of grid paper. They're two tenths of an inch every square, so every five is a line. And then I've marked the center of that, and this looks a little kind of crazy right now, but I'll tape that on there, and then I'm gonna push up into the corners. And then once I get it taped, and I'll push it into the corner and crease it tight and then cut it. Then what that will give me is then I can start at this end and I can measure over 1.25 inches up 13 and 4 tenths or whatever it is. But I can actually get out the calipers. And once I get that arc in, if I'm in a mid square, I'll be able to get the calipers out and measure to the thousandths of an inch off one of these blue lines. So when I'm done, I'll be able to make the exact reveal with absolutely no flaws of that arc. But to put this into a computer, it takes a while. I gotta put it all in SolidWorks and I'll literally be measuring 
and then inputting a dot and over and up an inch and dot and a dot and a dot, each one of them within at least 10 thousandths of an inch. And then I'll blend all those dots together to make the arc. So this is a slow process. I got to do it up on this section. And then I got to make another one for the lower section that goes clear to here. Input it in the computer. Then we can start placing Garmin switches, everything else on the panel. So arts and craft day, <laughs> it's going to be a while not to work. My eyes are gonna bug right out. <laughs> All right, guys, <laughs> seriously, my eyes are bugging. All right, so I got the front panel done. I'm now doing the lower, the upper panel, now the lower panel. <laughs> I think I'd rather sand anything or do Bondo or something. <laughs> this is just slow and monotonous. I've been on it over an hour and I'm still playing arts and crafts, so. I'll be down here in another 30 minutes. One hour later. Well, there you go, guys. There's my arts and crafts. All right, guys, this is awesome. It took forever to hand load all of the points to make this arc at the top. And uh, now we're starting to drop stuff in it. Garmin's website was awesome. I was able to pull down their 3D models and now we are just placing them onto our panels we input from my little arts and crafts drawing today. All right, here's a start. We can slide, drag, anything, anywhere we want. Thank you, Garmin, for giving us uh, all these parts we can just download and put in here. So they're all 3D modeled, even the backside connectors. I can check fittings everywhere. This is so cool. Garmin knows how to set you up right. Anyway, this is the start of the panel. We got lots more work, lots of breaker switches. These points right across here, that, that funny shape is actually just representing a metal bar, part of the frame in the back of the panel that I can't put anything on it. You won't actually see that square frame, but it's just referencing a can't put switches there. So the switches will actually go in these sections, there, there, and there. And then when I delete this visual reference of the bar behind the panel, I can actually put all the inscriptions and writing and things there. I'll put breakers here, here, and a glove box. So that's the plan. Sorry, I'm kind of not very steady while I'm pointing and talking, but that is the start of the panel in 3D model. Let's get to work. All right, guys, so <laughs> finally done. We went from arts and crafts Made lots of notes on it. Put it in a computer. I printed this one. I had a few thousandths I wanted to correct here and there to perfect it. Now to the final. And <laughs> I'm gonna do a final, final. This arc, I just guessed on it. I set it at an inch. It needs to be a two inch radius or the equivalent of a four inch circle to bring it in. So last tweak and I'll reprint it, but everything else is absolutely perfect. This plate will go down here for my oxygen, for my pulse reading oxygen down below, and uh, a few other things. But anyway, <laughs> that was a all day job. And I'm glad it's done, because I want to like build something. But this was critical. We now start working on switches and everything else. So let's get back at it. All right, guys, it's after midnight. My puppies need to go to the bathroom. <laughs> And I'm working on my panel. Go potty. Anyway, <laughs> Zuko and Loki have a house, a uh, house full of pets. Three dogs, four cats, <laughs> and four kids. And then this is the biggest kid of the whole herd. <laughs> anyway, hey, it's after midnight, and uh, I'm doing something really fun. I finished at the shop late. Wasn't ready to go to bed. I got the panel on my brain. Carbon fiber is already done and the basic layout is done. Now I'm going into all the systems, subsystems, breakers, and I'm having a lot of fun because I got scrap cut out everywhere. Scissors, razor blades, colored pencils, and <laughs> tape, a lot of tape, a lot of white out. And I'm narrowing down my panel, which is super fun. So I got lots of different versions here. I'm kind of narrowing down to these two, probably gonna be mostly like this one. But what I really like about it 
is I really enjoy laying out a flow system. So on startup sequence, on Turbulence, Draco, my racers, every plane I've done, I always start left to right and everything flows in perfect order of the way you start the aircraft and shut down the aircraft. So start on the left, you bring up your power, your electronic ignition, prime pump, and you move across everything to the start. And then it jumps to another set of breakers on this side. These are the non-criticals that goes into lighting and uh, taxi strobes, things like that. And then I'm lining up the breakers in relation to those switches. And then I'm segmenting those into two different halves of the electrical system, criticals, uh, essentials, and non-essentials, and they're split on the panel. So you can quickly kill a whole side of a panel and all the breakers are associated or and keep the essentials running. So I've kind of separated it that way, but I love it. It starts up this way, shuts down in reverse, lighting coming off all the way down, a shutdown. Last thing uh, coming off is power, which is also your, your uh, beacon. So anyway, I'm really stoked, having fun with it. Um, I don't know, I got a couple more hours in me and I wanna really dive into the details of the locations of the breakers. So I got a bit more work to do and uh, a little more coloring to do. Arts and crafts is almost done. <laughs> But I'm gonna get back to work and let the dogs in. <laughs> Come on, boys. Good boy. Good boys. Good boy. Okay, sit. Low key. Zuko, sit. Good boy. Shake. Good boys. Yeah, that's my good boys. My wife's in bed. I'm probably talking too loud. <laughs> I'm gonna get back to work. Hey, everyone. Here is the panel. I've just yanked it out of the plane. I, uh, left out the boring details of me making this little silly wood frame. I didn't think anyone would wanna see me building this, but I just built this wood frame. The purpose of building the frame and mounting the panel, I've got it all clear coated and ready to go, is so that we can work on it from all sides, front, back, I can get under it, around it. It's just gonna be really simple to do the panel this way. And the idea when I was doing the plane was making sure the door opening and this panel would allow it to come in and out. So it worked out great. I'm gonna build everything right here. We can test it, um, put it all together. I've got a great friend, uh, David from Avionic Systems. It's been awesome. He's gonna work on this and uh, we're gonna work together. I'll get all the wiring done inside the plane. We can do all the trim out and fitting right here in this wood frame I've got. And then if everything goes well, we'll just unbolt it out of this wood frame for us to work on, lift it in the window, plug it into some cannon plugs of all the wiring I'll route throughout the entire aircraft and have ready to go with autopilot and all, plug it in and test it. And uh, it's just gonna make the whole process a lot faster. Like, subscribe, come back, follow the craziness. That is a scrappy build and all the rest to come. We'll see you soon. Have a great night. Let's get back to work.